Hello and welcome to Marco's Marvel Monday Movie News on Marvel Movie Fam for August 10th, 2015. Here we will go over recent news for Marvel movies. There will be a separate video for interviews. There will be a spoiler sign if the story contains any spoilers. So let's get started with the news. For our first news story, Fantastic Four did not do too well in the box office this weekend. It earned $26.2 million this past weekend. It came in second in the box office. Fantastic Four's director Josh Trank deleted his tweet. In this tweet he stated that the movie he had a year ago would have gotten great reviews. This happened before the movie came out last Friday. Simon Kinberg stated that the Fantastic Four and X-Men exist in parallel universes. With this being said, the only way for a crossover to happen is if there is a version of Reed Richards that can make a device that can open a doorway to the X-Men universe. Chances of that happening are very slim. The official Deadpool trailer came out on Tuesday. This trailer has gotten many good reviews. There are two versions of the trailer, the red band and the green band. Staying on the subject of the Deadpool trailer, Empire released a detailed trailer breakdown. This breakdown was given by director Tim Miller. This article may contain spoilers, so don't read it if you don't want to know more about the movie. In the same article in the previous story, Tim Miller makes a brief mention about Deadpool 2. He talks about Cable being in it. I believe if this movie does well, we will have a sequel. Staying with Deadpool, X-Men's actor for Colossus Daniel Cudmore tweeted that he was offered the role of Colossus in the Deadpool movie, but he respectfully turned it down. He said the reason is because they were going to use CGI and also not use his voice. He goes on to say that he would love to play Colossus in the future. Tim Miller confirmed this. Moving on to X-Men, Brian Singer shared more pictures on his Instagram account. These pictures are of the set and also show Storm in Cairo. According to Heroic Hollywood, James McAvoy and Michael Fassbender have renewed their contracts. The details of the contracts are still unknown. According to Deadline, the Gambit movie has a shortlist. This shortlist is for the lead female role, Belladonna Boudreaux. On the short list are Rebecca Ferguson, Leia Sidhu, and Abby Lee. There's a rumor floating around that the Deadpool sequel will take the place of the Fantastic Four sequel. The domestic distribution chief, Chris Aronson, said to The Hollywood Reporter that Fox is going to be committed to these characters. This might mean that the Fantastic Four sequel might still happen. X-Men might get their own TV show. Co-chairman Donna Walden confirmed this on Thursday. She stated that they are in negotiations with Marvel. This will tie into the films, but not into the MCU. This show is not going to be a limited series. Moving on to Marvel Studios, MTV states that Jessica Jones is going to be released in October. According to the six-month plan by Marvel, this would make sense. This is in their article collecting current information about Jessica Jones. Bam Smack Pow released pictures of Daredevil Season 2. These pictures came from Just Jar Jr. These pictures are of the Punisher taking out a gangster. These are great shots, and I put a spoiler sign because I don't know how important this character is, if he is at all. Birth Movie's Death shared that inside sources state that even though Tom Holland is done filming, Spider-Man's role will be bigger. They state that he will have a fight scene that is dorky and unlike any other big screen superhero has had. Heroic Hollywood reveals two things about Captain America Civil War. First has to do with the death of a character. One character that dies is T'Chaka. This would be an obvious choice if you know about Black Panther. 
The other news they shared is the sides that people chose. On the side of Captain America are Hawkeye, Falcon, Scarlet Witch, the Winter Soldier, and Ant-Man. Taking the side of Iron Man is Vision, Spider-Man, Black Widow, and War Machine. Also, they mentioned that one might be a double agent. It was already stated that Black Panther will remain neutral. Sticking with Captain America, there is a rumor that Hulk might be in Civil War. This is a rumor because people saw Mark Ruffalo with some of the Civil War cast members in Berlin. So far, other than this, there is no real proof that we will see Hulk. Daily Mail took photos of Chris Evans in Berlin. The cast and crew are filming in the Olympic Stadium in Berlin. htext.africa talked about what they have learned at the Disney Africa presentation. They saw some concept art and some movie stills for Doctor Strange. They state that the movie will be dark. It will be a horror movie dark. They go on to say that they are not expecting a true blue horror film. They lastly state Benedict Cumberbatch looks very fetching in his Doctor Strange getup. Ecumenical News shared some Guardians of the Galaxy news. Kevin Feige confirmed that Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2 will start filming early next year. James Gunn says that it is going to be a more emotional movie and it will focus intensely on some of the characters. In more Guardians of the Galaxy news, James Gunn shared an image on Snapchat. This image seems to be a close-up of the script. The image focuses on the word Kraglin. Whether this is talking about Kraglin of Fonteri, one of the Ravagers and Yandu's most trusted man, or the alien with many eyes is unknown. Most likely, it is Umphanteri. For our last story, Heroic Hollywood shared information about the Spider-Man solo film. They say that the villain for the new reboot might be Kraven the Hunter. The rumor has started because the president of Creative Affairs at Sony recently ordered Kraven's last hunt. Since Sony still has to buy the comics from Marvel, this raised suspicion. Well, that's our news for this week. For more information on extra stories, please go to the description below. There you can find stories about what if Warner Herzog directed Ant-Man, the Ant-Man workout, Disneyland possibly expanding to include Marvel and Star Wars, properties over Marvel characters, Kermit wanting to join Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., non-Marvel Studios films ranked, Jennifer Lawrence visiting a children's hospital, and Hugh Jackman's Wolverine's bucket list. For more information on any of these news topics, click on the links in the description below. Be sure to subscribe for more news stories in the future and for more content. Also, please leave a comment if you have any questions or information that I may have left out. You can contact me on Twitter, at MarvelMovieFan0. If you haven't, please like this video and show that you would like more of this type of content. Thank you for watching, bye!